on the table today at Squirrel Stampede Fortnite back on the table you are probably asking where has Fortnite been no kidding it's been almost 400 days since we've seen Fortnite on the table that is crazy also crazy to think about it it's been like 1700 days since we've had a popper battle that has also come to my attention so maybe somehow we'll throw together a popper battle that would be so retro. Anyhow though, you can see I've collected a lot of Fortnite in the past year. A lot of solo mode Jazzwares and a lot of Hasbro uh, Victory Royale series, so a lot to catch up on. Uh, we even have Fortnite Raptor dinosaurs that I've been just holding on to and wanting to share. Very Jurassic World-esque in a way. But yeah, so many solo mode figures. Definitely gonna weigh heavily today for Jazzwares, and then we'll see what we can get through, because there is a lot to catch up with. But so exciting today. So let's begin our Fortnite year of review of what I've been filling up in the back of the table. Squirrel, Squirrel Stampede. Stampede. So we start with Nitro Jerry here, solo mode Nitro Jerry, series 21, series 21, number 202, I think 21 is the latest in the series, Nitro Jerry, hot tempered with an explosive personality, and of course today also with Mothman Doe, have not seen an Axo yet, that's gotta be a hot ticket, and a Lombro too in the 4 inch scale. Funny, we've got a Lombro in the 6 inch scale from Hasbro, and an unvaulted Drift is back. There's so many. Pretty much impossible to keep up. So let's see what Nitro Jerry looks like out of the. Oh my, that was explosive. How did he put himself back together again? Nitro Jerry just in time for the fourth Nitro Jerry. Look at that explosive firecracker character. Fuse, what is that on the back? Oh, it's just a warning caution sticker. This would really be a fun skin to implement I have not seen or used. And I like the eye patch too with the little star there. Just a clever face, a really fun character. Had to throw on a display stand, wants to tip over. So who else is in series 21? How about Grimy Reactive? I love the face on Grimy, cracks me up. Number 203 in series 21. And let's just see how fast the modern internet goes. I just eBayed an Axo. Should be arriving before the end of this review. Grimy Reactive, respect the drip, or else Reactive, new soul added with each elimination. I like the vibrancy of the Grimies on his hoodie. Opening up. There's Grimy out. By the way, I'm placing these on retro older action bases as they don't include them anymore with the figures. So these are old base plates for standing. Oh, we've even got decaling going down the back. This is a cool figure. It's been a while since we've looked at the modern Jazzwares 4 inch Fortnite figure. I feel like they're just a little smoother in their articulation today. I don't know why I want to say that. Uh, but we still have shoulders, elbows, wrists, usually torso and mid-waist performances. And then, of course, hips and double jointed knees and ankles. I just feel like today this one is a little smoother. Maybe it's just the plastic type on this one. It just feels really good and great face with Grimy. And the other, Series 21 of 20, 2003. Moth Mando, Moth Mando, how funny. I had a moth incident just yesterday on our patio. I thought it was a brick, piece of wood, turned out to be a moth. And I like how this is like a commando of a Moth Mando. Moth Mando, out of the shadows and into the light. I'm thinking Norm MacDonald moth joke right now. And of course, Llama Bro, who we still have in Hasbro form. So out with you, Moth Mando. And I have a new favorite in the Commando Moth Legions. I think it's this lamp light harvesting tool. Hilarious. That is so clever and funny. And the Moth Mando is quite geared for battle, ready to go. I mean, there's so much to this figure to say. Totally gonna work well with the G.I. Joe team. Good articulation, except for maybe up at the shoulders, there's a little bit of a shoulder padding thing. Can't do a total reach out and a little more commando padding in there, but I'm still getting some torso movement and maybe even some rotation. Nice little belt accessory they placed on him. Great look though, the face with the little moth feelers popping up, nicely painted. I mean, it's a fun one, it is a really cool one. I'm glad I ran into this one, very glad. Just don't be too attracted to the light that Nitro Jerry makes. It'll blow you up to pieces. So that's some of the figures for Series 21. And again, Axo just may make an appearance in this video if eBay can deliver in time. But now we can go back in time. I think Series 18 was the last time I left off with Fortnite Jazzwares figures. Series 18, 181. 
This is Diamond Hans, or is it Diamond Hans? Hans, that makes more sense. Hans Hans. And if you look closely, his hands are diamond. This guy would throw Bakugan diamonds like no other. Diamond Hans by Hold Win. And I think we have a few of these here. We've got Cluck Explosive, and we've got Joltara, and Great Feather is back there. It feels like a lifetime ago that I picked this one up, but actually, I believe you can still find this on shelf. I've seen several times at Walmart lately. Diamond hands out of the pack. I like how this guy kind of resembles the crash test dummy in a way. Kind of has that plain plastic fake look to him. Very clever. Whoa, whoa, what a hit. Diamond hounds goes flying. Watch out Jurassic Park Jeep. You got to be a little careful with that guy. And that squirrel. So a softer appearance figure style with this one. I like the blue tie on his jacket and coat. The coat is a little bit soft plastic. You could almost remove, but he would still have black sleeves. That would be awkward. I love the diamond hands. They're translucent. You can see right through them. The harvesting tool with an arrow pointing to the scene of the crime. Looking good. Diamond hands. Definitely finally great to open up. So I think Cluck is also part of the collection. Oh! Uh, diamond hands just narrowly missed that. Muldoon, you need to learn to drive. So we have also Cluck, Cluck here, explosive version. Kind of like Moth Mando, I'd like to team these two up. Cluck, explosive. Cheep, 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 cheep. Another great one to unite with your G.I. Joes. And Cluck out of pack, although not as explosive as Nitro Jerry. What a figure this one is, total ready for battle. A black feather chicken in camo, egg camo, like an eggshell helmet, eggshell pants, eggshell suspenders, eggshell armor here and there, bright orange leggings and arms, and two very happy drumstick harvesting tools. Those are funny. Gotta have a cluck on your commando team. And I think, I think, look at here, we have a cluck combo pack with beast battles, wildlife pack. This is so old school. This was definitely from last year. Funny, it says Series 1 of the duo modes. You don't see these very often. Do they make a past Series 1? We have a basic cluck in pack. More of that cheap, 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 cheap. And two articulated beasts inside. Wolf and Wild Boar. This was definitely part of that last year's Series 118, but now we can bring it back and check it out. And cluck original out of pack. I gotta say, both of these two very cleverly designed with the egg combo. Egg combat gear. Egg combat gear. This one feels a little more softer in yellow and the pink, pink egg combo gear. Combat, I keep saying combo, combat gear. And fairly good articulation for these considering they're so fluff. We got head rotation up top and then shoulders that are a little tricky to reach out because of that eggshell armor on shoulder pads. Rotation at elbows, wrists, and then body rotation and lower waist and then hips and double jointed knees and ankles. Plenty to do with these two and they hold up well on display stands. I think the only thing missing really with this cluck is harvesting tools. We do have a nice machine gun but I kind of like the harvesting tool look better with the double drumstick method. But we do have beasts. The beasts are so cool out of pack and I think you can even still find this one pretty easily. Usually over at Target more often but sometimes maybe at Walmart. Articulated jaw. Articulated neck there, uh, shoulders, nothing on the uh, elbows there, but paws on joints, and hips and a tail. So lots there on the wolf, very cleverly cute and, well, more menacing than anything. And then the wild boar, uh, shoulder point and hip point for articulation, tail on a post to move, head to bob around, and even a little jaw to open up. So fun to have some beasts to chase your figures around or just decorate up a shelf. One more Series 18 to look at, it's Joltara. Or do you go with Joltara? Joltara officially a Series 18 180. Funny how Greyfeather is on the back for also available, but Greyfeather is actually coming in at Series 19. I just, it's so impossible with these. I really gave up on when and where they're dropping. They're just here, when you see them, you get them, right? Joltara, champion of the solar winds. Pretty cool little superhero-esque figure. And out. Once again, the extreme variety of these characters don't disappoint, Jolterra. In red with gold shoes and gold gloves and a crazy face there on her face chest there. I do not know her of, I don't think I've played through her character skin before. I gotta catch up with my Fortnite, apparently. 
but she wildly stands out with the group and is a fun one to add in. Stands out obviously because of that red orange suit. I gotta figure her out more, discover what superpowers she has, possibly shooting jolts of fire. Jolts of fire. Oh look, off topic, but I've repaired Nitro Jerry after his explosion, so we can place him back here onto the safe grass pad. Jotaro, what are you doing? Oh no, Nitro Jerry's fused, not again. Everybody stand back. Well, it looks like I got to work more on Nitro Jerry again. Okay, I have two figures left from series 19. This is Master Key White and Holdover from series 18, maybe 183 Grave Feather. This is series 19. I don't think I ever saw a series 20 figure. We started today with series 21. So what happened to series 20? I gotta figure that out. But these two were the coolest in series 19, although they kind of felt like 18. I think I bought them with the series of 18. Limited one of 5,000? Why did I not notice this before? Limited one of 5,000? How did that happen? Oh my gosh, Master Key White is not going to be open today. This one is too much. It's probably worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. Let's check eBay. Oh, maybe just $20, $5 shipping? Hmm. I can't, I can't do it though. I can't just open this after it's one of 5,000 figures. I mean, oh, 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 what happened? He opened. So now there's only one of 4,999 left open. Um, let's see what Master Key looks like. So Master Key here, looking good on a green grass plate I provided for him. Matches the green shirt and a headpiece. That's cool. Head switch out. Master Key obviously has the Master Key harvesting tool. Quite a weapon there. Pretty good skin suit going. Kind of seems fancy yet sporty. Tiger stripes on arms. Back bling hole on the back. We're not seeing very much back bling right now. We don't have too much fun with the loot llamas anymore either to provide that. And head switch out. Do we just crack the whole head off? Uh, I kind of don't want to do that. I'm just going to leave it on. But you should be able to replace his white tiger steel face mask plate with his uh, underskin there. With hair, a fluff, and bandana around head. It's cool, but not really my favorite. I like the weird ones like Nitro Jerry. And, you know, Grey Feather. This is probably the most gravely of the figures we're seeing today. 183 Grave Feather. Don't worry, it's only a nightmare. <laughs> That's great. Uh, Jolterra back there, Cluck. Summer Drift. Did I ever run into Summer Drift? I think I did. I just wasn't too impressed. 28 points of articulation, Grave Feather. Let's figure you out. And Grave Feather gravely broke apart. Broke apart in package depackaging. Let's see if we can repair him, Landry. Uh, I think it's just a ball joint at that hip. Oh good, that's easy, that's an easy fix. And let's get a display stand, I found steel would be perfect if I could get it on there, tight. And so there's Grave Feather, how do we hold on to this harvesting tool? This is a very interesting tool, it's bent forward. I guess like this, is this how you harvest with a grave tool? I love this kind of figure, it's so crazy. The skeletal armament of this, just creepy. Going around, we've got feathering on his back crest there, on his arms. Uh, this one's just wildly sculpted. The amount of different sculpts and clever inventions from Jazzwares never cease me on this collection. They just pump them out. Very interesting. Need some back bling for this guy. I got a skeletal back bling somewhere. Where did I put that? Tiny Chipmunk Squirrel often wears it from time to time. Where are you, Tiny Chipmunk? Oh, there you are. What was this? The Reaper? The Ravager? The Scaliger? I can't remember the name of this, but this would be perfect back bling for this character. Except for the fact that his feathers kind of overhang and doesn't really fit, but there's a little extra fun if you have that back bling still saved up. What a cool figure! Now, as we're waiting for Axel, I almost forgot! Wow, how did I forget this? We've got a fancified Jazzwares figure. The Master Grade series. Never gone through a Master Grade figure before. Omega Knight just looked Pretty impressive. Code for bonus virtual item included. That's what we're talking about. I think all Fortnite figures should have a code from Jazzwares. I really think that's what they've missed out on. They do it with Roblox. Why couldn't they do it with the Fortnite figures? And well, now they're doing it. 28 points of articulation. Opening this up reveals there can only be one night, extra, extra wrap, and all sorts of gear. Very impressive. This is from series two, number 270. Also available, Master Grade. I almost picked up one more of these. I just couldn't decide and I figured, yeah, they're kind of run spendy around $20, $25 a piece. So just got one. 
So let's see what we can see with this one out of pack. So the sleeve just kind of pulls out. Is that how it goes? And if you don't tear these apart too much, which I just kind of did, no, I'm okay. You can repack these for display, which I just appreciate. I'll just pull the sword out. I don't really want to share the guns. And we've got our code. The only thing really missing from this deluxe figure set would be a display base, so I just subbed in one of my old ones again. That's a shame because display stands really help with this four inch scale series. They love to tip and fall. Luckily, they provided so many of these plates over the years, so I'm just like overflowing on them. Overflowing, that's a weird word. Master grade though, looking great. Remember how just like a couple weeks ago, I was just, I was so super impressed with the micro texture of Miles Morales' spider suit, and we're seeing that again. The micro texture on the suit here of armor is so, so tight and textured. It's so satisfying. We saw that same thing with Miles' chest plate here, and this actually still is probably the most micro of texture. I just like to say the word micro texture, by the way, uh, but it is so impressive on this character. It looks so cool. I could see why he's this considered a master grade series. An amazing sword detailed harvesting tool. Shiny silver really reflects light, and even on the back for back bling, we have a place to place harvesting tool, so that's impressive and rotate around again. Oh, and we do have weaponry, just a little extra detailed, a little extra larger than what we typically see with the figure sets, maybe. I really just prefer displaying with their harvesting tools because those usually uniquely set up with the character. Wow, that's impressive. So now we can finally, finally see if Axo made it. And if he did, I imagine a dramatic set change. Whoa, what happened with the set change? And look who just arrived in time, it's Axo. Maybe the coolest and hard to find of series 21, it's number 201, Axo. 29 points of articulation with a nachos jersey. Glad to squeeze this one into the review and also finding an icebound Midas. During the time it took to find an Axo, was over out shopping and found an icebound Midas, who is a special series one, 258. It's just too confusing to tell. I thought maybe this would be in series 20, the mystery series. Let's check out Axo first though. I really want to see, I think we all do. We've waited long enough. Axo here to see if life on dry land lives up to the hype. And of course, others available. Limited edition Slurp Viathon is out there. See, these were the two that were, eh, anyway. Let's get Axo out, finally, across the sea. Axo out! So Axo now easily a favorite in the Jazzwares Fortnite collection. Look at this crazy cool nachos jersey wearing axolotl. Axolotl head is impressive with all the little feelers or what do you call them? Even an axolotl tail on this figure with ball joint for articulation to move about. Oh, it's so cool. Almost has a shimmery, slimy-like feel to the plastic of the figure base. The paint lights up really shiny. I love these little things. They're so cool. Highly detailed this one is. Might need to do a battle with it someday. Axel with the harvesting tool, pretty basic there, kind of sporty-like. And again, all the basic articulations of a Fortnite Jazzwares figure. But finally, Axo on the table. Once more time at that tail on ball joint. Can the tail be moved? No, it's not a wire inside. Number one. Number one of Team Nachos. So very glad we were able to introduce Axo into today. We got it through across the states to get it in just in time. And one more here, Icebound Midas. Midas, always a very popular character, this time in Icebound. I know Target had a series of special iced characters. Maybe some of these were in 20. I, I just don't recognize many of these on shelf. Skelement Oro, never saw, never saw Fish Dick VR, never saw. Mancake Limited Edition, which would be great, and uh, Unvaulted Rust Lord. I think we went through a Rust Lord at one point. It's so difficult to tell when these figures, when and where they drop. Icebound Midas, though, Golden Touch, Gold 2 Touch. Here to open up, let's see, out of pack. Team Ice is nice. I'm guessing just a basic repaint of your regular Midas, although I feel like this jacket feels just a little warmer, but maybe it's just all the frosted, icy coldness of it. Got his pistols on the side, even comes with some back bling. Nice to have a little back bling piece included, usually not the case anymore. And uh, I had to add this onto a steel display stand too, but there is an ice version of, uh, Team Ice version of Icebound Midas. So keep your eye out for both of these two. Axo, a little harder for me to find in my area. Icebound Midas pretty much everywhere. So today turned out to be way more of a Jazzwares 4-inch scale day than it ever did. What was I planning? I was planning on trying to go through everything. 
I still have a large collection of Hasbro Fortnite to go through, like these amazing dinosaurs. Raptor Orange, who feels green, and then Raptor Yellow. Plus this guy's been back here this whole review and he's not even going to be opened. What? I kind of want to save the Hasbro series for their own review just because they're a different scale, they're a whole different animal, but I've got these collected and want to show soon. I've been wanting to open this guy so many times, but he's just going to have to hold. And like we teased a couple times already today, Llama Bro is here. Lambro, not Llama Bro. A little bit older from last year, I have a Potassius Peels. Always good to get your potassium from your bananas. We have a Meowsles Ghost. I think we saw Meowsles in a larger pack, but maybe it wasn't Ghost. I can't remember now. But Meowsles is here. Aerial Assault Trooper who flew off the shelf during a Jeep crashing incident with the dummy earlier today. Just looked like a fun, I love the army G.I. Joe-verse style figures. I thought he would fit well with my Hasbro G.I. Joe collection. And of course I wanted that plunger. And what do you know, Cluck is back too. Cluck is here. I've got several of these. Again, just over the last year, I always pick them up and mean to get to them. And then just, it's just always falling by the wayside. But we'll get to a Hasbro collection soon, depending on how much you really want to see it. And that there finally caught up with Jazzwares Fortnite 4 inch scale solo mode figures. Always a joy to see on the table. If you like today's video, please give us a squike, squirrel eye, squamant your favorite Fortnite skin. Thank you so much for watching. That's what I have to say about that.